Hello, everyone. Have you had your breakfast? Have you had your lunch? 大家一定觉得怪怪的，怎么今天老师一上来就问我们吃了吗？看看我们第九十课的标题，大家就明白了。What's for supper? 晚餐吃什么 ？I wish I could have fish and chips. What about you? 好，让我们步入正题，准备好轻松愉快的心情，开始生词学习吧。Chip, overfish, giant, terrify, diver, oil rig, wit, cage, shark, whale, variety, cod, skate, factor, crew. 大家是不是觉得这个生词表里的生词怪怪的？讲晚餐吃什么，居然蹦出潜水员和石油钻塔了，究竟是怎么回事呢？别着急，谜底马上就要揭开。Please bear the following four questions in mind while listening to the text. Why does it come as a surprise to learn that giant fish are terrifying the divers? On North Sea oil rigs. 当人们得知一些巨型的鱼类袭击北海石油钻塔的潜水员时，为什么会感觉很吃惊 ？What have happened to divers when they work in darkness a hundred feet under water? 当潜水员们在深海底下工作的时候，发生了什么事情 ？What are those monsters? That attack divers. 袭击潜水员的怪物究竟是些什么 ？Why do those fish grow so large? 那些鱼为什么会长得那么大 ？Fish and chips has always been a favourite dish in Britain. But as the oceans have been overfished, fish has become more and more expensive. So it comes as a surprise to learn that giant fish are terrifying the divers on North Sea oil rigs. Oil rigs have to be repaired frequently, and divers, who often have to work in darkness a hundred feet under water, have been frightened out of their wits by giant fish bumping into them as they work. Now they have had special cages made to protect them from these monsters. The fish are not sharks or killer whales, but favourite eating varieties like cod and skate, which grow to unnatural sizes, sometimes as much as twelve feet in length. Three factors have caused these fish to grow so large. The warm water round the hot oil pipes under the sea, the plentiful supply of food thrown overboard by the crews on the rigs, the total absence of fishing boats around the oil rigs. As a result, the fish just eat and eat and grow and grow in the lovely warm water. Who eats who? Well, did you have a good laugh? To be frank. I did. In fact, I burst into laughter several times when I was preparing for this lesson. And some of the expressions, like "frightened out of their wits," are just so vivid. 好，看看我们前面提出的问题，大家准备好答案了没有 ？Our first question is: Why does it come as a surprise to learn that giant fish are terrifying the divers? On North Sea oil rigs, 回答应该是 because the oceans have been overfished, and as a result, fish has become more and more expensive. 第二个问题 what have happened to divers when they work in darkness a hundred feet under water? 回答是 giant fish bump into them as they work. 第三个问题 
What are those monsters that attack divers? 回答是 ，They are favorite eating varieties like cod and skate, but they have grown to unnatural size. 最后一个问题 ，Why do those fish grow so large? Well, there are three factors: the warm water, the plentiful supply of food. And the total absence of fishing boats. 在课文结束的时候，作者提出了这样一个问题 ：Who eats who？ 这却是一个值得我们深思的问题。也许，当人类肆意操纵自然界的其他生灵的时候，就是在自掘坟墓呢？好，我们还是来看一下课文中的语言点吧。请看这句话。As the oceans have been overfished, fish has become more and more expensive. More and more 的意思是越来越怎么样？请多看几个例句。More and more people are going on diet. 越来越多的人开始节食。They began to dance slowly at first, then more and more quickly. 他们开始跳舞，起初很慢，然后越来越快。再请看课文中的这句话 ：So it comes as a surprise to learn that giant fish are terrifying the divers on North Sea oil rigs. 这句话中的 it 是起什么作用？大家知道吗？对，它是一个形式主语。真正的主语是后面 that。引导的这个句子 ，Giant fish are terrifying the divers on North Sea oil rigs. 我们之所以使用形式主语 it， 是为了把过长的主语挪到句子的后面，以避免出现头重脚轻的效果。再请看这个非常有意思的表达法 ：Divers have been frightened out of their wits. By giant fish bumping into them as they work. Frighten out of one's wits. 这个表达法的意思，照字面上来译，有点像汉语的“吓得灵魂出窍”或者“吓得魂飞魄散”。译的通顺一点，可以说“吓破了胆”。总之是吓得不轻。我们再看几个例句。A car passed me at top speed, sounding its horn, frightening me out of my wits. 一辆车从我身边高速驶过，摁着喇叭，把我吓得够呛。As the man tried to swing the boat round, the steering wheel came away in his hands, frightening the life out of him. Frightening the life out of him 等于 Frightening him out of his wits. 整句话的意思是，当那个男子想把船掉头的时候，方向盘突然脱手了，把他吓得够呛。Now they have had special cages made to protect them from these monsters. 这句话中我们关注两个语言点，一个是 have something done， 另一个是 protect somebody from something。Have something done 的意思是让某人替自己做某事。又比如 ，I'll have my clothes washed. 我得找人把衣服给洗了。He's going to have his car repaired. 他打算找人把车给修了。Protect somebody from something 的意思是保护某人不受什么的伤害。又比如 ，She had an old umbrella to protect her from the rain. 她带了一把旧伞，可以不至于淋雨。Babies are protected against diseases like measles by their mother's milk. 婴儿可以接受母乳，得到预防麻疹的免疫力。好，课文中的语言点我们就过到这儿。在下面的部分，我们总结一下 have 的用法。
。首先，我们来挑出课文中 die have 的句子。Fish and chips has always been a favorite dish in Britain. 这儿的 has 是一个助动词，帮助构成现在完成时。Oil rigs have to be repaired frequently. 这儿的 have 与后面的 to 一起构成 have to 表达法，表示表示不得不怎么样。Now they have had special cages made to protect them from those monsters. 这儿第一个 have 是一个助动词，第二个 have 是一个有实际意义的普通动词，用在 have something done 里面，表示。使某件事被做成。那么 ，have 还可以参与到另外一些表达法中，构成一些非常有意思的词组。下面简单向大家介绍两个。如果我们说 you have it in you， 那么我们表达的意思是，你有某种你自己都没有意识到的才能。请看例句 ：I never guessed Tom had it in him. 我从来也没有想到 Tom 居然有这种能力。She spoke with an enthusiasm I never suspected she had in her. 她说话的时候带着一种热情，我从来没有想到她居然有这种热情。Have 还可以出现在 You give something all you have, or you put everything you have into something 这样的表达法中。表示倾注你的所有来做某件事情，请看例句。The project must be carried on. I gave it all I had. 这件工程必须进行下去。我已经倾注了我的全部所有。Peter put everything he had into making the concert a success. Peter 为了音乐会的成功。倾注了全部的心血。OK， 关于 have 的用法，我们就总结到这儿。课文中出现了一道菜名 fish and chips。Well， how many of you have ever tasted fish and chips？ It's a very popular dish in Britain， and it's very delicious。The only thing you need to worry about is that。It's also very fattening. 好，今天这一课我们就讲到这儿。See you next time.